Greetings everyone. Um, I'm going to show you a quick video tutorial on how to set up Scorecam to um, use to um, stream um, our hockey games. So what you're going to do is on your device you're going to open up the Scorecam app right here. The app will open up and when you first open it up you'll notice we have a scoreboard on top and the first thing you're going to want to do is configure the scoreboard. So what you do is you're going to click on this let me find my mouse. You'll click on this gear button right here. You're going to tap on launch a scoreboard settings right here. I'm sorry. Um, you'll see this screen here. So first thing you want to do is you're going to want to change the names, to, uh, change the names of the teams to the teams that are playing. So you're going to click this, team names, colors, and more. Um, here you can um, populate the, the names of the teams. Um, so if I click on Hawks here, um, it is going to remember any teams that um, you've entered in before. If you want to add a new team name, you're going to type that in right here. But other than that, you're going to hit Select, and you'll see that that changed here. If you want to change the color of um, these little boxes to match the team colors, you can adjust the colors by clicking on these boxes here. Um, once you do that, you're going to exit out the scoreboard settings here. Um, and then you will hit save and those changes will be reflected up here um, During the game if um, say Littleton scores a goal, you're gonna just Swipe on the left side of the screen If you go up, you'll notice that the score changes if I swipe down on the side of the screen that will go down If the Knights here score a goal, you will swipe on the right side of the screen and you'll swipe up or you'll swipe down um, in between periods, you're going to want to change the period counter, and the only way to do that that I found is you hit the gear button, you go launch scoreboard settings, and then you're going to um, just go up here. So I'll see if I, I went to period two, and then I hit save, you'll now notice that that has changed. Um, anyways, um, to begin streaming, um, what you're going to do um, is you are going to hit this start live button right here click that and it'll bring up this screen it's loading here and what you'll see is here I've already connected this device to our Facebook page so what you'll do is you'll uh, first thing you'll see is it's gonna post onto my profile but you will click on this we want to stream it into our specific group page so you'll say post in group you will find our team here we are you click on that You'll know, now notice when the event begins streaming on Facebook, it'll post inside of our group and not onto your main Facebook page. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to hit this go live button right here. When you hit that, the score cam app is going to load like this. Once you get to this screen, you're going to want to click in the upper left hand corner, you're going to hit this start preview button. You're going to click on that. You'll notice Facebook starts to load like this. All right, once everything's ready to go, you're gonna hit this go live button down here. So once I hit this go live button, you will notice it's gonna say, it's gonna give you this warning, it's gonna to wanna to add you to add a title to the stream. Don't worry about that, just click through it and hit go live. You'll notice this message here. It says live video is starting. It's, the device is now connecting. Once you're live on Facebook, you'll notice this. Once you get this message here that says we're now live, Go to the upper right hand corner and click done and it'll take you back out to score cam once you're in score cam you will notice here and it's kind of hard to read but if you see this let me get to a darker background let me find a darker background if you'll notice that you have a megabytes per second and a number of megabytes that means that you're streaming so once you notice that you are live and you're streaming so we're all, we also want to simultaneously record the game as well as stream it. So recording means we're gonna, we're gonna save a hard copy of the game onto our Facebook, um, I'm, I'm sorry, onto the iPad's hard drive. That way if we have bad Wi-Fi, we're still recording the game. So to do that, you're gonna hit this button right here called record. What this is doing, this is now, the app is now simultaneously streaming and recording the game. All right, if you notice, now you have this counter up top with that blinking red light. That means we are recording the game as well as streaming the game. At the end of the match or at the end of the game, you will hit stop here to stop the stream. 
look at this one. Yeah, yes. And then to stop the actual physical recording of the game onto the hard drive, you're going to want to hit this red square. You'll get this message that says stop recording, and you will hit yes. That's about it. All right, perfect. So if you have any questions, just reach out.